It's been a very crazy 24 hours with the Pentagon actually coming out and acknowledging the existence of the jellyfish UAP that was captured back in 2018 that was recently uh, leaked by Jeremy Corbell. If you haven't seen, um, seen that, check out this video right here. Okay, I know, I know, I know this is a show about true crime and mystery, but tonight I've got a story that's not so much true crime, but it blows the lid off mystery. Um, a video allegedly taken at a U.S. military base in Iraq in 2018, just released by a journalist named Jeremy Corbell, who claims that it was buried by the intelligence community. Look at this. He calls this thing, uh, whatever craft it is, jellyfish. You can see why, because it floats with, like, dangling appendages. Um, the footage was shot at night, and I'm quoting that they used thermographic forward-looking infrared imagery. But interestingly, the object could not be seen with regular night vision gear. And some of the troops who were at the base weren't even aware it was up there. Um, others were told to hunt it down. And the coolest part of it all is that it switches colors. It goes from this dark to, like, almost invisible and see-through and white um, as it glides, indicating that that should be a temperature change, more than likely, from hot to cold to hot to cold. And then it just disappears into a body of water for 17 straight minutes until pew, it reemerges and shoots off into the sky at a rate of speed that was so high it couldn't be documented with the technology we actually have here on Earth. What? So Corbell claims that the... Uh, the jellyfish, a similar kind of thing, just like this, was seen at a nuclear facility, too, moving between silos and shooting off at a 45-degree angle. And he shared this footage on social media. You should know that News Nation has not independently verified the authenticity of either of these videos, and the Pentagon has not confirmed or even commented on them. So that's why I called Nick Pope. Spent his career investigating UFOs for the UK Ministry of Defense, and he's just great at this stuff. So, first of all, Nick, what do you make of this whole temperature, color change, and then also this transmedium capabilities of going in and out of the water and the air? Well, the change in color, which normally could represent a temperature change, may be an artifact of the the camera and the system. We don't know. Uh, yet what this is. We, we just, it, there are so many pieces of the puzzle that have yet to be confirmed. This is very early days. So I don't want to say about the temperature change. Um, and, and again, with the transmedium travel so far, the only bit of this video that I've seen is, is the bit that you're showing now. I have yet to see the, the part where it apparently goes into the water and comes out. But if, if that is what people are saying it is, that is, is certainly something to watch. And it's one of these so-called uh, five observables, this apparent ability to move seamlessly between water and air that we hear about. And, and that is noteworthy for sure, if it's verified. Right. OK, perfect. Thank you for that. Um, and first of all, we don't have the video yet of the water dive. But the part about being verified, how do you vet this stuff? How does one go about vetting this kind of video? Well, I think the first thing is obviously to ask the uh, Department of Defense. And, and I think News Nation have an inquiry in. I actually uh, reached out to public affairs myself earlier, and they said they would get back to me on that. So I think, I think they're burning the midnight oil at the Pentagon tonight. Look, Jeremy Corbell does have a proven track record of um, bringing forward uh, footage and still photographs that do turn out to be genuine. So, so I'm, I'm betting that this is going to be the real deal. But as I say, there are still pieces of the puzzle we don't have. And, and I think this is going to be a test. Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, who, who was the director of the Pentagon's Arrow unit, stepped down at the end of last year. His uh, deputy, Timothy Phillips, is in place. This is a big test for him. How's he going to respond to this. Uh, I, I think we want this. Uh, Congress wants information about this sort of thing, not from independent filmmakers, but from the Pentagon. Yeah, I agree. And I can't wait to have you back when you get the answers that you're getting, because I think we're all racy to get the same answers. So, Nick, I'm, keep your phone handy. I'm going to call you back. Thanks for this tonight. Thank you. Now, What's even crazier about this whole situation is the Pentagon have actually acknowledged it in a very alarming statement that came out yesterday at the time of recording. And what's creepy about it is they might have indirectly confirmed the legitimacy of this video. So over on Twitter, uh, someone called Stephen Greenstreet 
uh, with the handle Middle of Mayhem, released this tweet that states, Pentagon releases statement on Jellyfish UFO video released by Jeremy Corbell. Below is the full statement from spokesperson Susan Go. Quote, we do not comment on the authenticity of alleged DOD material that may have been leaked. DOD takes public interest in unidentified anomalous phenomena seriously and is committed to openness and accountability to the American people. This commitment must be balanced with the department's obligation to protect sensitive information, sources and methods. To that end, Arrow will provide updates to the public via its website as it resolves UAP cases, including sharing the analytic approach and method used for each case, as well as imagery at when approved for public release. The Department of Defense takes the potential unauthorized disclosure of national security information very seriously. DOD organizations, including Arrow, regularly emphasize their workforces uh, the importance of protecting national security information in accordance with information security laws, regulations and processes. And what's even crazier about this is this might have just been an indirect way of them saying that this could be a legitimate case. Obviously, they're going to look into it further based off of this statement. They haven't really confirmed nor denied it, but that it does read as if they're kind of leaning towards the more um, legitimate side of that fence. Now, there was a News Nation report that came out about this, which kind of goes into a little bit more depth and asks a few more questions. Take a little look at this. Well, no comment from the Pentagon in regards to the now infamous video of the so-called jellyfish UFO. That video, released last week by journalist Jeremy Corbell, appears to show a UFO flying over an American base in Iraq. News Nation reached out to the Pentagon and asked if officials would confirm the video's authenticity. They told us today that, quote, we do not comment on the authenticity of alleged DOD material that may have been leaked. The Department of Defense takes the potential unauthorized disclosure of national security information very seriously, end quote. Last week, we spoke with Jeremy Corbell about the significance of this new video and why he thinks the public needs to know about it. This is the first time in history we are seeing a designated UAP, an unknown and unidentified, that it is moving into a restricted base. It is an incursion, in fact. So this is the first time you're seeing that. In the past, the Defense Department has released several videos leaked previously by Corbell and later confirmed they are, in fact, unidentified anomalous phenomenon, the long term for UAP or UFOs, as we used to call them. News Nation special correspondent Ross Coulthart joins us now. Hey, Ross, what do you make of the Pentagon's uh, no comment answer? G'day, Elizabeth. Look, I must say it's very revealing for what it doesn't say. It's, it doesn't reveal a categorical denial. It's the last resort of governments and uh, intelligence services when they don't want to answer a question. Essentially, it's a neither confirm nor deny. And what I would say, Elizabeth, is that in the past, the Pentagon has shown a willingness to use supposedly national security sensitive videos, such as, for example, the videos shot of their drones being attacked over Ukraine. And uh, I, I think there's a very big issue here for the Pentagon now that, that Mr Corbell is making the direct accusation that this was a designated UAP. That's not something that's denied by the Pentagon. I don't know why it couldn't be denied if it was untrue. And I think it really does put pressure on the Pentagon to start being more open and transparent with the public. In the past, how long has it taken the Pentagon to confirm Jeremy Corbell's videos once he's released them? They seem to be annoyed that it was leaked. They, they talked about, we take this very seriously. Yeah, I mean, there's an implicit acknowledgement there that they are annoyed that it was leaked because they make reference in a specific paragraph to how dimly the, the, they view the leaking of material. But the simple fact is it, it normally takes about three or four weeks, I think, for them to process a response like this. 
But I, I think it's more telling, Elizabeth, that what lies behind this is we are going to see more leaks. People are getting frustrated from right. within the national security establishment. They think the Pentagon is flat out lying about what it knows about NHI. And they're telling me, they're telling Jeremy Corbell, George Knapp and other journalists that it's time that the Pentagon came clean with the American public. And I, I think that this continued attempt to try and evade responsibility for videos that frankly almost certainly are Pentagon videos isn't going to help them in the long run. It's not good for American democracy for this continued denial. Yeah, I'm not sure who else uh, has a camera like that recording on a base, an American military base in Iraq, except the military. Thanks so much for watching. And that is the latest that we've got from the Pentagon and the people kind of surrounding this topic. Obviously, we've seen some uh, very in the know people within that interview um, who have kind of had their noses to the ground with this kind of thing and they kind of sniff out this kind of information. And we've had nothing since, which means one of two things either we're going to be getting more leaks very, very soon or this is where this story is going to die. And it could just potentially be that the Pentagon takes, like they said in that video, three to four weeks to kind of come up with what uh, their independent um, uh, uh, investigation of this uh, information and see how they're gonna uh, move forward with it and how they're going to kind of project it. So with that said, what do you guys make about this? What do you make of the Pentagon statement? Let me know down in the comments below. Is this confirming that this could be an actual UFO over an Iraq base back in 2018? or? Does it really mean nothing? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to jump to get the hell out of that like button, subscribe if you're new, and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. And until next time, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed, and we'll speak to you later. Peace.